What's up everybody, Bandit here. So we're at the back of the Land Cruiser today and normally you'd have two handles to get into the back of this thing since it does have a two-piece tailgate. The top half goes up, the bottom half goes down like a truck tailgate. Now unfortunately both of these handles have broken off which makes getting into the back of this thing really really difficult. Uh, it takes a pair of gloves and some vice grips and everything else just to get into the back of the Land Cruiser and uh, thanks to our friends at Sparks Parts we're going to fix all that. So we have the new uh, assemblies for both handles and uh, both the plastic and the metal components so we'll go ahead and try to install some of those today. So looking up here at the top this is traditionally where the top handle would be and as you can see it has rusted and fallen off and it's a little bit worse for wear so we'll go ahead and replace that one. The second one is down here on the top of the tailgate and as you can see that one is gone as well so we'll start down here on the bottom. So to start, it looks like we're going to have to drop the tailgate down and then use the access plates on the back to fix everything. It's really high tech, but this is how we've been getting into the back of here. You just grab a pair of pliers or vice grips or whatever you have, rotate this thing around, you'll hear it pop, and then you can fold everything down. Now with the tailgate down, as you can see, normally you would have some sort of interior cover for this. I have all of mine already out, uh, but it is just a several plastic uh, little clips that hold it on. So here's the access plate for that handle. We'll go ahead and remove these three screws and see what's behind it. So once you have the back plate off, you can see that there are two metal cables coming off of the mechanism and that's to release the latch on both sides. So you'll go ahead and give this a turn and you'll see both of those cables move. It's a pretty smart setup. It is pretty simple, uh, but it looks like it is only a few different screws to release all of this. Now, two of them were beside where the latch should have been. Then you have to release these cables, but it should be a pretty easy thing to switch out. So as you can see here, we were able to swap out all of the old parts with the new ones here and got these new or the old cables hooked up to the new fixture. Uh, so when you rotate the new thing, Everything moves and it does release the door. So let's take a look at it from the top side here. So up top here we actually do have a handle. So it just rotates towards the back of the vehicle and then the tailgate comes down. So much easier than using the pliers obviously. Now with all this being done with the tailgate, we'll go ahead and move up to the top hatch. So replacing this top latch here was a little bit more tricky. It's actually all the way back in here. You may be able to see the prong of it there. Uh, but that was probably the hardest part about all of this. When, the way I got around all that was I removed all of these bolts here on the outside holding in the locking mechanism and all of the other controls. So you actually have to take off the uh, cable that leads to the interior latch, the cable that goes to the lock, and everything else. And uh, that was probably the easiest way. And then we went ahead and fastened everything back together. So with everything back together now, we'll go ahead and put the cover back on this metal and we'll seal everything back up. And we'll go ahead and snug up this plate here on the tailgate. So with all these new parts from Sparks Parts, we can actually open up the back with no tools. So we'll go ahead and reach under here, grab the latch for the top, everything goes up nice, and we can grab the latch here on the tailgate, get that to rotate, and it goes down. Now obviously, uh, all of these should come on your Land Cruiser, but if for some reason you get an FJ80 or really any other Toyota product and they don't have that, be sure to look up Sparks Parts because they can definitely hook you up with whatever interior or engine parts or anything that you may need. But if you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, everybody. Catch you next time.